Disney World has a hotel that drops you right into the middle of a savanna with animals all around. Yep, that can mean a giraffe out your window. But is Disney's Animal Kingdom launch really worth the splurge? This is a crash course in Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge so that you can decide if a stay here is right for you and know what to expect from this hotel if you do decide to stay. Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge is a 1,307 room deluxe resort with four different savannas located in the Disney's Animal Kingdom area. This is a very large hotel and it is in the deluxe category, but it is one of the two cheapest deluxe hotels along with Disney's Wilderness Lodge. I use the word cheap very lightly, but you know. The hotel has two main sections, Jumbo House, which is where I'm standing right now, and Kidani Village. Kidani Village is the Disney Vacation Club side of the hotel. Disney Vacation Club being Disney's timeshare program and there are villas for the DVC over there. If you're looking at a stay here you do not have to be DVC to stay in a DVC room. Just be warned they can be pretty expensive. Now as a deluxe hotel what you're looking at here are some of the best amenities and the highest prices that you'll find of Disney hotels. So a win some lose some scenario here. Uh, this hotel is definitely one of my favorites because it's got the super unique aspect of having the savannas with the animals just outside. Look, pelicans. <laughs> but let's start with the basics. If you're staying at a Disney Deluxe Hotel, you are going to get some Disney perks. Perks include 30 minute early entry to the theme parks. So whichever theme park you want to go to, you can get in 30 minutes before anybody else can. Perks also include extended evening hours. This is only available to deluxe guests. And it means that on select nights, you can stay very late at some of the theme parks with some of the lowest crowds you'll see during your entire trip. You also get free overnight parking at your hotel, as well as free parking at the theme parks, access to Disney's free transportation system, and if you are booking a stay starting January 9th, 2024 or later, you can add the Disney dining plan to your vacation package if you would like. Oh, the animals are like close right now. The beast, giraffe, zebra, cool. But let's talk about those rooms. As you can probably tell, these rooms are on the nicer side. Even from outside, you can see that all of them have balconies. When you are staying at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, you can choose from a standard view, pool view, savanna view, one or two bedroom suites, and there are presidential suites. Uh, and across the room categories, you can have king bed and club level options as well. Similar to the rest of the hotel, the rooms are inspired by African architecture and art, and they have a very beautiful, comfortable furnishing in my opinion. I've stayed here a number of times and really loved it every time. The one downside to this hotel is its location, which we'll get into, but the rooms are so nice. The hotel is so nice. Everything's so nice. Something to be aware of is that this hotel is notorious for long walks to your room. You could be walking down a hallway forever to get to your room. Um, now there are interior hallways. So there's no walking in the rain if you're coming from the lobby, but boy, oh boy, are some of these rooms far away. <laughs> from where you'll come into the hotel. That said, deluxe hotel rooms do mean that you can expect more amenities and larger space in the rooms. Generally, people tend to like the rooms here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. In 2023, standard rooms here range from $460 to $1,100 per night. That's date-based, so it gets a lot more expensive on holidays. Prices can also depend on the beds configuration um, and the view that you choose. And you might even be able to get cheaper than the rates that I said if you find a deal, which are often posted on the Disney website. And we will always update you about those on the allears.net website. If you do want to know more in detail about the room, you can check out my full tour of Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge on the channel now, where I go aggressively into detail about the room. Let's talk a little bit about activities though. So one thing about Animal Kingdom Lodge is that you don't really need an activity. This is an amazing hotel to just sit around at. The lobby is beautiful. It has the largest collection of African art outside the continent of Africa. Yes, for real. It's really amazing. Um, there are cultural representatives from Africa here who are happy to teach you all about their home country. There's even a fire pit in the lobby that is blazing pretty much year round. And I know what you're thinking, why would you need fire in the summer? And the answer is for the ambiance. I love sitting here with a bottle of wine. <laughs> I really do. It's also really nice to sit just in chairs and look out at the savannah no matter the time of day. Animals, of course, are most active first thing in the morning and around this time, around sunset, but it's just a, such a nice environment to just hang out. But if just hanging out isn't enough for you, there's tons of activities too because this is a deluxe hotel. There are four different savannas uh, where you can see zebras, giraffes, and more. My favorite animals that you can see are savannas are these cranes that do a little dance that I really, really love. Uh, those are over at the savannah at Kadani Village, but all four savannas have amazing animal views. And the views don't stop when the sun goes 
windows down. You're probably in the park while the sun is up, so when are you gonna look at animals? You can do so at night. Not only do they light the savannas with an artificial moonlight, but you can also sometimes find the safari guides outside with night vision goggles so that you can use night vision to look for animals around the savannah. And yes, I did mention safari guides. There are cast members stationed out at the savannah uh, for most of the hours of the day to tell you about the animals, share fun facts, let you know, like help you spot the animals, all sorts of things. You can ask them questions. I always find that I learn something new about an animal almost every time I'm at either Animal Kingdom or Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Here's what I'm talking about with those cultural representatives. You can often find little activity tables uh, where you can learn a lot more about Africa, which is really amazing and it makes this hotel feel very worldly. My favorite campfire at the Disney hotels is here as well because it is, this is the fire pit. It is an amazing fire, so beautiful. It's right here out, basically on the savannah. Um, and even just looking at the architecture is beautiful. And they have campfire activities. You can make s'mores, including Mickey s'mores, um, and do all sorts of stuff. They will have recreation out here at the campfire sometimes. And that is um, often nightly, which is really cool. One of my favorite spots to find the activities for the day is at this Daily Adventures Board, which is on the first floor by Boma, the buffet and you can find all of the adventures that there will be. Animal tracking, bio blocks, flamingo behaviors, African wonders, have you heard, animal enrichment, music of the savannah, and have a ball. And these are all things where you can learn more about animals, um, sometimes more about the art. And it's just very cool that all of these experiences are free. Uh, if there is a paid one, you'll see it marked with a dollar sign. But other than that, they are free and you can learn more about what each experience is. But this is the kind of thing that you can expect of a Disney Deluxe Hotel that you will not get at a moderate or a value. But don't worry, Animal Kingdom Lodge has the basics covered too. Animal Kingdom Lodge has some amazing pool areas. There are uh, two different pools. There's the Uzima Pool and the Samawadi Springs Pool. Uh, the Uzima Pool is the second largest on Disney property outside of the water parks with a zero depth entry. That's what we're walking up on. It does face the savannah and has a 67 foot water slide. Something else to note, there's also a playground, a whirlpool spa, a wading pool, and there's a massage and fitness center. You can get massages here. There's not a full spa, but that doesn't mean you can't get a massage. This resort is large, so the pool is too, and I have not seen this overly crowded. Now, it is kind of a cool night, so it's really not crowded right now, but that zero entry is so nice. There's a pool bar, and I think we're gonna go check out some flamingos. There's that water slide kind of tucked away. I just think the theming over here fits so well with the savannas and makes for a very relaxing environment as well. So, you know, your kiddos play in the pool, you get a drink and relax and enjoy the ambiance. The flamingos overlook is really fun because they're like always right here because this is where the flamingos live. So you can pretty much come see flamingos all the time. And sometimes you'll see some other animals beyond, but not right now it looks like just a ton of flamingos doing their flamingo thing. Over on the Kidani Village side, you can find Samawadi Springs Pool and Uwanja Camp. Samawadi Springs Pool is gonna be a very large pool as well with a lot of fun activities for kiddos. That one is a little more accessible from Kidani Village. So usually you're just gonna use the pool that's closer to you. But if one's overly crowded, you can always check the other. There's a bigger water slide at Samawadi at 128 feet. So even if you're over at Jumbo, you might wanna go check that out. And it does have that Uwanja Camp, which is one of the coolest splash areas for kids in Disney World. It has areas that are made for different ages but it's like really cool all around, just very well themed. One thing that you definitely want to keep in mind is that there is no quiet pool at this hotel. So there's going to be music playing at the pool, activities at the pools, no matter which pool you go to. And that means they're not going to have that serene, out of the way, less crowded pool like most hotels normally would. If that is a favorite part of your vacation, then this hotel might not be for you. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a very small baby giraffe over there. It's not that small. It's probably much bigger than I am, but it's cute. Little bonus tip. When you have a standard view here, it means that you either have parking lot or an obstructed savannah view. Hopefully you have an obstructed savannah view because that means you still get a partial savannah view. When I did my room tour here for the video, I had a partial and you can see my view rocked. So you can see that in that video right now. There's also such a dedication to like teaching people about animals and recycling, taking care of our planet, as well as Africa, the art, even the food. It all feels very like educational here. And I just feel like it's such an opportunity to learn something new while still getting pampered a bit. Also by the pools, you can find standard Disney recreation, like where the recreation guides will come and play games with the kids. You can also find movie under the stars here where every night they play a different Disney movie, weather permitting. And there's a couple of other upcharge activities you can do too. 
um, like Mickey tie dye. And there are some more themed ones to the hotel, like making African jewelry or doing medallion rubbing. We have done some really unique activities here. Um, I believe last year Emma made uh, Christmas ornaments out of ostrich eggs or something similar. I don't know. It, just really interesting activities. Oh, this is so cool. You can collect beads throughout the resort by completing activities hosted by an African cultural representative. So if you do these, you can collect beads. A deluxe hotel is not a hotel you want to book if you don't intend to spend time there. It is so expensive. If you want somewhere to just lay your head, you want to go for a value or a moderate. If you want to actually experience an amazing resort, that's when you're going to want to splurge to a deluxe. And the splurge is real here for sure when you can stay for under $200 at the values. Um, I even saw a deal to get into All Star for under $100 a night. And this hotel is like $400 a night. It can get really pricey if you're staying for a lot of nights. So really only splurge for this kind of hotel if you have time to experience all the amazing things it has to offer. Speaking of all the amazing things it has to offer, one of the most amazing things that this hotel has to offer is food. If you are an adventurous eater or just like African food, this hotel will be your paradise. We're starting here at the Mara. This is the quick service spot at this hotel. Um, and it's kind of a small space that's located by the pool. Um, pretty easy. And it's gonna have some favorites that you're more used to, like chicken tenders and things like that, flatbreads. But they also have some more adventurous seats. They have a tamarind barbecued pork sandwich. Um, they've got like a chicken bowl and a South African vegetable bowl. Um, a bunch of really hearty food. They have falafel. They also have a grab and go section. So if you just want to grab something, take it back to your room or out to the pool, you sure can. They do have pastries and stuff that you can grab, but something that is a star of staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge are these little bad boys right here. These are zebra domes and they are kind of controversial, um, but very, very popular. You get four of these little domes and they are basically these like moose based treats that sit on a little cookie and they're infused with a African liqueur. They are so delicious. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend them if you want to try something like that, but uh, people either love them or hate them. So it's just something you warned and they do have alcohol as an ingredient. I think the Mara is an awesome quick service, but if I could have my pick, uh, the other restaurants here are really something. I actually can't even get over how extensive the recreation board is. At the values, you will see maybe a third of the amount of riding on one of these boards and it's just so much to do here but uh, we're talking about food we're talking about food jumbo house is home to two very fantastic restaurants uh, both of them are going to be found on the first floor one of them is called boma boma serves breakfast and dinner and it has american favorites as well as african dishes on a buffet this is in my opinion the best buffet in disney world the food is so spectacular i think it's definitely worth it i literally have heard people as i walk by today talking like oh i'm going to boma later oh i'm so jealous uh, people love boma recommendations are the boboti at breakfast and dinner and the peanut rice and soup at dinner and they do have zebra domes on the buffet so if you want to try those zebra domes they are unlimited on that buffet and just across the hall is one of my favorite restaurants in all of disney world this is Jiko, the cooking place it is a signature table service so it's going to be on the expensive side uh, but it is very romantic very delicious the space is designed to represent a nature scene and it has a huge selection of south african wines uh, my recommendation would be the filet of beef or something more adventurous. Definitely talk to your server. They have great recommendations and I've never had something bad here. Something really delicious is this four cheese macaroni. It's very good. It comes with some of the entrees. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty darn good. And we're headed to Jico soon for our review. So keep an eye on the channel to see a full review of this amazing signature restaurant. Animal Kingdom Lodge also has a pretty amazing lounge. Right here on the second floor is Victoria Falls Lounge. It is a beautiful setting. Um, I love sitting in here with a glass of wine. Uh, they have tons of those South, Af South African wines available and they have small plates that are delicious as well. If you're a wine drinker and you're staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, you definitely should try out some South African wine. Uh, they do have uh, at Jigo the largest selection outside of South Africa and you can access a lot of that wine at other locations around the hotel as well. There are also two pool bars. There's the Uzuma Springs pool bar and the Maji pool bar, both of which have African beer, South African wine, and specialty cocktails available. And then over at Kidani Village, there is another table service restaurant with Sanaa. Sanaa is an amazing restaurant. Uh, in the morning, it's actually a quick service breakfast, which is really awesome. It makes it a little easier. And then you can also do a table service lunch and dinner. Their legendary offering is their bread service, but they have a ton of amazing African meals um, and 
it's definitely a favorite of our team. We're always talking about Sana'a, so that's another great one. All the dining here is fantastic. The Mara is quick service and it's left me right home about everything else is like some of the best restaurants in Disney World. So if you're an adventurous diner, if anything that I've said sounds good to you, then that might be a reason to swing for Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. But also, you don't have to stay here to eat at the restaurants. You can always make a reservation, take a venture over, check out the animals, and eat while staying somewhere cheaper. Everything outside of prices sounded pretty good about this hotel so far, but there is one big complaint that I always hear about why people don't choose to stay at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Let's talk transportation. Now, Animal Kingdom Lodge is located in the Animal Kingdom Resort area. It is close to Animal Kingdom, but pretty far from every other. This is the only deluxe hotel where the transportation is entirely bus transportation. Every other one has more proximity to the other parks um, and often is in walking distance or at least has a boat transportation option. There's only bus transportation at this hotel. There are bus stops located at both the Jumbo House and the Kidani Village side, so you don't have to walk too far from the main lobby to get on a bus. And the bus rides tend to be about 15 to 20 minutes to any park, except Animal Kingdom, which is gonna be about 10 minutes. Buses come every 15 to 20 minutes as well, but in general, I would always allot an hour to get from point A to point B in Disney World. You never know when something might go wrong, a bus might be late, there might be too many people in line for you to get on. So that's just something to keep in mind is that you're gonna want a lot of little extra time to get around. So it's about a 15 minute walk to get between Jumbo House and Kidani Village, but there is a shuttle that runs back and forth constantly. You can talk to Cast Members about where to find it, but it's directly outside of both lobby buildings. You can just hop on that shuttle and head to the other stop. So now that you've kind of gotten the gist of Animal Kingdom Lodge, let's see if you should get booking or keep looking. You should get booking if you love animals. This hotel obviously provides unparalleled views of wildlife if you have those savanna views and even just hanging out in the savanna and you can learn so much about them. So it's a really amazing hotel for animal lovers. You should also get booking if you want luxury before a more realistic price. This hotel is a deluxe. It is expensive, but it is not nearly as expensive as the Epcot Resort area deluxes or the monorail resorts. You also might want to get booking if you love to try new food. Animal Kingdom Lodge affords a lot of ability to try new things. And that's something that I love about it is that I always feel like I have a new experience when I'm here. And that's one of my favorite parts of traveling. But you should keep looking if you want to be close to the theme parks. I hear a lot of people say that it's a total deal breaker to pay these prices and then have to take a bus everywhere. And I get that, especially when we're so far and the bus ride is pretty long. You should also keep looking if you don't care as much to see the animals or about Disney's Animal Kingdom. This hotel is closest to Animal Kingdom and you see a lot of the animals, that's the big draw here. But if that doesn't appeal to you, then your splurge might be better sent somewhere else. If you do decide to keep looking, however, you can check out my ranking of every single hotel. I have stayed in every single resort hotel on Disney's property and I have a video ranking every single one and talking about the pros and cons. So that could be a huge help in helping you decide which hotel is right for you. You can also check out my full tours of any of the resort hotels, um, as well as more of these short videos to learn more about which hotel is right for you. Hopefully you've learned a lot about Animal Kingdom Lodge today. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And now go watch my full tour of Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. I'll see you there.